in with meteorologist Michael Haynes. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, I think people just love to talk about them. A joyous moment of 2023, Michael. That's, that's right. Apparently so. That, that's just the way it is with uh, Taylor <laughs> Swift. But our joyous moments will happen later this week if you like the colder weather. Now, if you like the warmer temperatures we've had through Christmas, that's all about to change. So we're in a transition period. This is the live view from Talladega Super Speedway. You can see traffic along Interstate 20 in the background running uh, nice and smooth uh, so far on this Tuesday. And no rain coming out of these clouds, but they continue to stream in from in the southwest where we're mostly clear northwest of Interstate 20, northwest of I-59 and I-20, but the temperature is holding now in the low to middle 50s. That's closer to where we should be at this point in December across central Alabama. Alabaster now 51 by 565, Coleman at 50, Jasper at 55. As far south as Clanton and Chilton County are running in the lower 50. So we are, despite the clouds we have in place now, we are mostly dry tonight. In fact, all dry. Uh, the temperatures will drop on off fairly quickly. Uh, so as you head back to work tomorrow, morning we'll start out in the low to middle 30s between around the 30 to 35 degrees depending on your location north of interstate 20 uh, many spots closer to highway 278 dipping down closer to freezing so getting cold tomorrow morning and there's more where that came from so notice these clouds continuing to move in from the southwest the front that moved through here over the weekend the past couple of days it's well off into the eastern part of georgia uh, north and south carolina so now we turn our attention to the really cold weather up to the north and northwest of us i know as of right now this does not look like anything extreme, but you will feel some very cold temperatures over the next several days. So by tomorrow, uh, we're holding in the mid and upper 50s. That's average for this time of the year. But for Thursday and Friday, uh, struggling to get out of the 40s all day. And with that storm system coming in by Friday, there's the possibility uh, for some rain showers to mix with light snow flurries, mainly over North Alabama. We are not expecting a major winter storm by any aspect of the imagination, but still don't don't be surprised if you catch a few snow flurries around here or some light snow showers during the day Friday. So this is our future cast. We're all dry heading through the rest of the night through Wednesday. Uh, the, finally, the sunshine will return during the day tomorrow. Then into a third Wednesday night into Thursday, a few clouds beginning to come back in. That's that next system. So by uh, late Thursday night into Friday, notice how this particular model and these models are all in pretty good agreement for some light rain mixing with light snow showers, mainly north of Interstate 20 and the still continuing through a Friday afternoon, a Friday night at times, not enough to cause any type of accumulation. And in fact, temperatures will remain above freezing uh, throughout that duration. So this is this is the deal. We'll say mainly along and north of Interstate 20, some isolated rain and snow showers, uh, but not expecting any significant problems travel wise. So just keep that in mind. Don't be shocked if you see, see a few snowflakes. Outside of that, another opportunity for some rain coming in here by for a uh, New Year's weekend by late Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, mainly the New Year's Day. So we'll watch that carefully uh, with this pattern still favoring a cooler than average temperature range over the next several days. So once we get through tomorrow, again tomorrow, a fairly average, but by Thursday into Friday, struggling to hit 50 degrees. We're not going to even get into the middle 40s throughout the day Friday. And remember, don't look at your back door thermometer to determine whether or not you can get some snow flurries. It's about what's happening well up off the ground. So the atmosphere will support some snow flurries Friday, mainly north of Birmingham. And then for the weekend coming up, the holiday weekend, the New Year's weekend, by Sunday warming up slightly for New Year's Eve in the low to middle 50s and then still remaining cooler than average heading for a New Year's Day in the first part of the, the new year, Carly. All right, Michael, thank you. We're still ahead. We are counting down.